What's up YouTube here, Rob Must here, and it's the fifth day of Yu-Gi-Oh! My YouTuber gave to me a Blackwing deck profile. Yes guys, I've got my Black Wings here. Um They haven't changed much. Uh, I just need another deck to put up for the 12 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'll just bring up my Black Wings again. Uh, a bit has changed actually, because I wanted to try to mix it up, try to help um increase the amount of Synchro something you do, the amount of searching you do. Um, so let's just get into it. And also, guys, don't forget to look out for next week. Uh, don't forget to look out for later this week. Um, I've got a concept deck coming out for one of the de one of the days. So don't forget to look up, uh, see that video. Uh, it's something I've been working on for. Well, I only started last night, but. Um, uh, the deck idea I had a while ago, so don't forget to look watch that video because it's really interesting just to see the concept of it as it is the concept deck idea. But let's just get into Black Wings and then later that week, later this week, you'll um, see what I'm talking about. So for monsters, it's just the same three Chris. Um, can't be destroyed by spell trap effects once per turn. So three Chris spams himself out. 3 Bora, spams himself out and does piercing if he attacks. 3 Kalut, it's like the Honest, but instead of gaining the other monster attack, it just gains 14. And that's the only 3 ofs I actually run in the deck. Then I run 2 Hamartan. Uh, level changes are always good with Blacklings, as well as spams itself out. Um, I've cut Shura down to 1, just because... Um, Pendulums are more of a thing, so uh, the Metal Foe matchup, th this doesn't go so well. So Shura, I've cut down to one, so I can fit in some more space. One Zephyrus still, because you still need one. One Gladius as the final non-tuner monster. Spans yourself out if you control Blackwing. So if you got Pina if you open up Pinaki and Black Whirlwind, you have an instant Mathong. Uh, for tuners, I still run the two Gofu. I, this card is only good for recovery and nothing else. So if you've got a Black Wing in the Grave, this is that's the only reason you want to summon Gofu. Um, th uh, two Kunai, the Drizzle. Uh, helps with your Synchro plays into Onimaru. Becomes a tuner when you summon him. It's just I just run him at two because I like him. Uh, then I run two Pinaki. The search effects are great. The only thing with him is you can't summon any other synchro monsters with him apart from black wings. So you can only synchro black wings with him. So be careful with that. But he gets a search during the end phase if he's sent to the graveyard. Then I run two Gale. Uh, halves attack with defense of one monster your opponent controls and spams himself out if you control black wing other than Gale. Uh, then I run, I don't have it, but I run one Steam the Cloak, uh, the one where it's a level 3 tuner, tri uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, special summons a token, and then you can tribute the token special summon this card from the grave, but you can't use it once per duel, but still, one Steam the Cloak, because uh, I've been testing it recently on DevPro, and it kind of works with the build I want to go for in the future. Next, followed up by two Blizzard. I am going through by levels, guys, so not by numbers, but by levels, and then numbers of cards. So, two Blizzard for the Graveyard of Revival, and also it's the best card to go into Nathong or Soya. Then I run the two Oroshi, not one. I don't have the second one, I'm still trying to find one. But two Oroshi, it helps make Crystal Wing, it helps make your Trish, it just helps make a lot of your synchros. Now on to spell cards. I only run seven. I run three Black Whirlwind. It's the search of the deck. It's broken if you have an Athong on the field because you get two searches and it's just too good. It's too good. Then I run two, uh, three Allure of Darkness but I've only got two. But you just need the three because the entire deck's dark so draw power is immensely great. And one soul charge just for finishing game. Or if you've got a Rakiri on board and no other monsters to use it with, 
Soul Charge, a tuner, non-tuner, tuner, non-tuner. So two tuners, two non-tuners, pop four cards, your opponent controls, and then synchro twice. Now for traps, three curse attack, because it's a, it's a twin twister for wing beasts. Also, it has good synergy with, um, with Pinaki. So, if you Icarus attack, tribute Pinaki to pop two cards during the end phase, get Pinaki's effect to search a blizzard, next turn draw a normal blizzard. So, Icarus attack helps get some of your plays going if you can't really, if your opponent doesn't attack you. And then the last three trap cards, as usual, are two Black Sonic and a Delta Crow, just so you can, so against the Pendulums, um, they don't go. So instead of mirror forcing them or putting them back into the deck, extra deck, graveyard, whatever, Black Sonic, you can just banish them so they have no use for them. And then Delta Crow pops all your opponent's back row. So up against Talonites, uh, Anti-Reverse, while you control Blackwing, destroys all their face-down spell trap cards. So, yeah. And if you control exactly three Blackwings, you can activate them from hand, which is pretty cool. Now for the extra deck, I run two Sawyer, still... Uh, special summons a uh, Assault Blackwing from Grave when he's summoned. Yeah, when it's Synchro Summon, targets an Assault Blackwing Grave and Special Summons it. Because I was just wondering if it said the Synchro Summon or Special Summon, I kind of forgot. Um, then, during your main phase, if this card's in the graveyard because it's sent there this turn, banish it, another version of itself, and Special Summon this card. So if you've got both of them in Grave, banish one, Special the other. I'm still trying to get an Ultimire so I can run in the deck, because Ultimire does work. Then I run 2 Nathong, gives you an extra normal summon, also inflicts 800 points of damage, and then one face-up monster your opponent controls loses 800 attack and defense, and it doesn't target either. So if they've got, um, oh god, what's a card that can't be targeted? Zark. So if they've got Zark on the field, for example, because I mentioned Zark in my previous deck, Talonites, but again with Black Wings, so if they've got Zark on the field and you make Nathong, um, you can make it lose 800 attack and defense because it, ca it can't be targeted, but Nathung doesn't target, so which is awesome. One Hawk Joe because you can't revive itself with another copy of it because it's a warrior and not a winged beast, and it's a black winged tamer as well. So, but Hawk Joe pretty much if you just make Hawk Joe, you can use Hawk Joe to bring back any of your black wing level 5 or higher from the graveyard. And then you can just extend your combo plays. Special summon. So if you special this, special Rakiri, special Oroshi, use a Rakiri to pop two cards. Special, then sync Oroshi with Hawk Joe to make Crystal Wing, and boom. So Hawk Joe does help extend plays. I run two Chidori still. Um, I'm still, I'm really considering whether to bump this up or not. Um, it just, I just like it because it gains. If this thing, so basically it's a tune if it's to get if a black wing's used for it. Um this card gains three hundred attack for each black wing monster in your graveyard, and if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target a wing beast synchro monster in your graveyard except uh Chidori and Special Summon it. So you can revive your Onimaru, you can revive your Rakiri, you can revive Nathong, Soya. So you can revive anything apart from Hawk Joe. And the thing is, it says Winged Beast, so if you run any other Winged Beast Synchros that aren't Black Wings, you can still Special Summon it off of Chidori. So, Chidori doesn't actually have a uh, spec specification. So you can run this in a Winged Beast Synchro deck that doesn't use Black Wings at all, and still revive, destroy it by Icarus. No, Icarus doesn't destroy it. So if they just destroy this, if you run this in a Winged Beast Synchro deck uh, that's not Black Wings, you can just Special Summon a Winged Beast Synchro back from the grave. So, Chidori does help in other decks that are Wing Beast Synchros specific, but in Black Wings it is a lot better. Still run the 2 Rikiri, I'm actually thinking about bumping this one up to 3, seriously doing it, instead of just thinking about it like Chidori, because this card is a twin twister on every card. So basically, you've got two of them on the field, you can use both effects to pop at least two cards, so, use this, pop one card because you've got this. Use this, pop one card because you've got this. And as soon as you have another black wing on the field, you can instantly pop four. Get another one on the field, pop six. Get another one on the field, pop ten. So, Rikiri is amazingly... is it this 
this card and Icarus attack is why I don't run a twin twister in the deck because it does that anyway plus monsters so you can clear the monsters spell trap cards pendulum zones whatever then of course I run the one only Maru for the just to summon this get new synchro monsters can't be destroyed by card effects go for the 6k attack so only Maru Pretty much with the Blackwing decks, decks now, it's pretty much standard to at least run one. Now for the non-Blackwing Synchros, I'll run one Black Rose and one Yazi. Black Rose just to bomb the field, Yazi to just because it can't be targeted. Also, if you can't make a Blackwing because you've already used them, this is your last resort to go into a Crystal Wing. Um, I would take out the Yazi for an Ultimire if I did have an Ultimire. So, Yazi could actually be an Ultimire if you had one. I strongly suggest taking out Yazi if you had an Ultimire. I cannot stress that enough. I'll say it one more time. Take out Yazi for an Ultimire if you have one. Now, for others, I run one Scarlight. Nice. Another good Ghost Rare. I mean, just look at that. Just look, look, look. I mean, there's normal red color, but. One Scarlight. One Crystal Wing and one Trish. So, Crystal Wing, kind of standard. And once you get um, Ultimire, you can actually summon these without Synchro summoning them. And then Trish, because, well, it's Trish. So, that's it for Deck Profile, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, go check out uh, Mild Entertainment, Jack of Luck, and Shadow Flame. I've kind of forget to be. I've kind of forgotten to say that lately with stuff that's been going on. But yeah, go check out their channels. They should be featured on my channel. They should be, I'm not sure. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the next uh, video. And since I've kind of been slack, I, it's going to be today for the next video. Later tonight. But if you guys are seeing this in America, by the time you see this, I'll be asleep. So it'll already be up. Um, or you guys are up already, I don't know. It's kind of weird, time zones and all that. But, give this video a huge thumbs up, just to show you support for the channel. Um, and the concept deck, I will give you a clue. It has something to do with spam Z summons, and winged beasts, okay? So that in mind, keeping that in mind, it's going to be... Spamming wing, it's going to be spam, it's spammable XZ summons, and it's wing beast. And that will be on either Tuesday or Thursday, depending on when I can get that. Also, I'm still trying to figure out another, because I'm kind of one day short. I kind of have no idea what to fill in for Saturday before Christmas, but I'll try to think of that because I've got a whole week to do think about that. Otherwise, this is Heroic Master signing out, and I hope you found this video mildly entertaining.